hello my people thank you so much for being here um there are so much talks about king mrs zulu zulu the new zulu king who's newly ordained and i see so many people making jokes trying to ridicule the king and the entire kingdom because of mere ignorance <laughs> first of all the first the first moment i saw what people are ignorant they're busy calling him Bayete. <laughs> somebody was saying oh Bayete, we're any cute <laughs> Gamfuda, he's saying weird things, Bayete Walena, you know? And first of all, his name is not Bayete or Bayete. His name is King Mrs. Zulu Zulu. He is the Zulu King. And there's also confusion with, you know, uh, the man that was with him, uh, standing next to him, who, you know, resembles a little bit, a little bit of Henry Tele, who played uh, Shaga Zulu on the Shaga Zulu movie. So now I'm getting to understand that a lot of young people especially see pictures of Henry Taylor circulating all over social media and they actually are convinced that Henry is a former Zulu king and, you know, he is the late Chaga, you know. And I, 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 first of all, he was an actor on the Chaga Zulu movie and I don't blame you for believing uh, Henry Tele to be the king because wow he was a brilliant actor his delivery was on an, another level I every time I also picture Ushaga I also have a, a bit of a frame yeah okay you know the king Ushaga I have a frame guy Henry because Henry was so good and may his soul rest in peace but you know Henry was not the Zulu king and it's very important to know your history good people and I, I just, I'm going to say to you, do your research, it's going to help. And some people are talking about um, <clears throat> King Mrs. Zulu's fashion, um, talking about their hair, making jokes, and about him, but that they're making jokes. Actually, fashion is the least of the king's worries. <laughs> fashion is the least, it, it's just, we're just doing it now because, you know, we are a bit modernized, but that's not really you know, a requirement in terms of being a king. It's not really a requirement. He's doing it because, you know, we live in a modern world. People expect you to wear shoes, all those things. But that's why he doesn't pay too much mind to it because that's not the main thing. The main thing is his responsibility. And I saw some woman <laughs> on social media contesting towards being, you know, the king's wives. Hmm, you know what? I do understand that, you know, the king is charming. Obviously, he has a little bit of charm and, you know, he does need a wife. And I understand that everybody thinks, you know, they have a chance. But, you know, before you, you sort of like, you know, confuse yourself with that usually, and it may be altered depending, but usually you have to be royalty yourself. And there's a huge responsibility with, with being a king's wife. So it's not just glitz and glam and just you being, you know, there are choices that you have to make for the family and sacrifices that you have to make for the family. And having, you know, even the spirit so as there's a lot of it. And, you know, you may or not always have to be the social media savvy person because you have to protect the family and the whereabouts of the family. So you must be the most disciplined person. So before always contest the lap, I... <laughs> And try to be picked understand you know those dynamics because you know it will help you you know being a king's wife is a huge responsibility you have the whole nation's responsibility on your shoulders and therefore you need to be a certain person with certain strengths and you need to possess certain things about you so psh, you know it's it's not as you know as it is i'm gonna end this with what uh the late shauna ferguson was saying uh excuse me there <clears throat> shauna went on twitter and he spoke about why we like to ridicule our own things you know our own culture our own success as black people and i think that we definitely need to fix that you know, every time when we have to take something seriously, we, we, we play jokes around it. If you think about it, 
uh, the Zulu kingdom and the Swati kingdom are one of the few kingdoms in you know the African continent that still take seriously the laws of you know their kingdom and they still go the extra mile despite how modernized we are so it's such a big deal you know for example if if a person goes to example uh and you go to Ezaioni, you know if if you don't agree with what they do washembe keep quiet and stay out of their business don't try now and say mean things or ridicule them just because when it, it's not your vibe so it's the same thing if you don't believe in the kingdom thing that's fine that's you but it means so much to some of us who are zulu and it means so much to the zulu nation and to so many other people so you shush if it means nothing to you but don't try to ridicule it you know so i'd be doing you know my culture my people a disservice if i didn't you know sort of like um address this let us educate ourselves about the zulu kingdom let's educate ourselves and he is not my yete you know and most of and i oh king mrs zulu that's when you say bayete and you praise him you know with you know clan names and you know different things i would think i'm like bayete you'd rather call him king mrs zulu you know or the zulu king than ukuloku bayete sees a lap you know foot again bayete or bayete Thank you, my people. I'm saying this with love. Shout out to my Zulu kingdom. Shout out to my people. I love you. God bless you. Mwah. <laughs>